Okay, some people like to throw away these old hard drives, but I'm going to show you taking them apart. There's some pretty cool things in there, some pretty useful things. So let's get started because I already started. Okay, actually this one's just a this is a magnetic hard drive. Okay, not the not the new solid state. And this is a 40 gigabyte, so not very useful. Now there is one problem, and that's with the screws. So here's a screw. Let's see if you can see that. It's a torque screw, so it's got a little star pattern in there. It's not a normal screwdriver, so you need a torque screwdriver to open it. You can get these in a lot of different places. It's not a big deal, but you know. So in this case, there's one, two, three, four, five, six screws. There is a sticker right here with another screw and another sticker right here. I've taken them all off with this one. So let's take the sticker off this torque screw out and then let's open it up. Yes, and don't don't open this up and think you're going to use it. Once you open it up, that's it. It's done. Okay. Look at that. That's the inside of a hard drive. And the first, there's two things that we want in here. One is this mirror. This is the platter. There's actually two platters in here. This is where the data is actually stored on. Uh, and then the other is this right here. Magnet. Okay, let's get the magnet out first. So I'm just going to take... This magnet is not even screwed down, so I'm just going to take this screwdriver and pry it up. There you go, look at that. That is a nice magnet. This is a neodymium magnet. It's going gonna, it's gonna to do a lot of great things. Let's see, here's some torque screws. So you can pick things up, those aren't very magnetic, but you can pick up a lot of stuff with this. And it's attached to this bracket here, which I can never get off, but you can use it as a refrigerator magnet or make a speaker or whatever. It's awesome, great one. There's another magnet right down here. You can see it, The see how, that's a strong magnet. Now you wanna take this arm off right here. Uh, there's a screw, I think this does it, unscrew that. Maybe that doesn't come off. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to, uh, I think I'm gonna have to, no, I think it is coming off. Okay, if this breaks a little bit, that's okay. There we go. Yeah, it's off. There, I don't want that. I want that. Oh no, look, more torque screws. Ah. These things are tough to deal with. Okay, now I have two magnets. Ah, I told you they're good. Why 
Okay, it looks like this one might have another screw. I can undo it from the other side. I'll do that later. Let's get these. Okay, this has a whole bunch of torque screws. They really want you to buy a torque screwdriver. And if you don't, if you cannot touch that mirror, it's better, but I've already touched it. And I said mirror because that's also actually what it is used for, for me. Okay, these screws are kind of tough. I may have to skip this part. There I go. Get that out. Get all these screws out. Okay, cool rings. Those are actually nice aluminum rings. Let's see if this comes up now. You gotta lift this thing straight up because it's a fine fit. So you gotta just kind of shimmy it up. Kind of tough. You know what? That should come up. Check this out. Okay. These are nice, look at the best mirrors. Look, there's me right there. The best mirrors. I mean, look how shiny they are. They just reflect, they're great mirrors. Um, so you could use these for different mirror things, but a really, really great mirror. Okay, so you got, you got some mirrors, you got some aluminum rings, you got another one. You have great magnets. Uh, there, this motor is a, is a nice motor, but it's not easy to drive it on things. You can, make this work in somehow but don't I wouldn't bother I would get the magnets the two magnets the two platters and I'd be happy with yourself okay so there you took it apart now you can build stuff with it